We're going to Washington now in the latest on President Biden's COVID relief package passed by the House over the weekend, but it's facing some hurdles in the Senate. Our chief White House correspondent Cecilia Vega has the details. Good morning, Cecilia. Hey, George, good morning to you. So the White House had hoped to do this with some bipartisan support, but that House vote did not get a single Republican to support it. I want to start by showing you what's in this bill, some of these big ticket items right off of the top here. Take a look. Those $1,400 stimulus checks, of course, for most Americans, $16 billion for vaccine distribution, $50 billion for testing and tracing, $170 billion for school. That's going to help cover reopening costs and things like aid to some students. George, you mentioned those hurdles, though. Really, the big one right now is, of course, that $15 minimum an hour our minimum wage. Our sources are telling us this morning that that is off the table for Democrats as this bill is going to head over into the Senate. Progressives in the party are not happy at all about this. Moderate Democrats have also expressed some concern about the large ticket, uh, the large price tag of this overall uh, bill. So it is likely to see some changes to come as it works its way through the Senate in order to get those 50, 50 votes uh, that it needs to pass this with Democrats. They are expected to take this up. In the Senate this week, George, they want it on the president's desk in a matter of weeks. Okay, and Cecilia, I guess this isn't a surprise, but former President Trump has returned to the political stage. He is back out there. It was his first big speech since leaving office an hour and a half long. George, look, this was a dark speech. It hit on uh, a lot of the anti-immigrant themes that helped propel him into the office four years ago. He also reiterated many of his lies about the election being stolen. Of course, uh, that's not true. And while an overwhelming majority of folks there at that conference, according to a secret ballot, uh, support his policies, a lot of them, George, say they did not want him to run if he was up against someone else in the party right now. Yeah, that was a surprising number. Okay, Cecilia, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.